This is an easy curl skull crusher. So you're going to grab a hold of the bar. I'll just show you here a little bit more on the inside position. You'll see that my pinky is slightly behind the, uh, the knuckle of the index finger. So we want a more narrow grip here. Depending on how much load you have, always make sure that we put it up with good form, right? So you can use those feet to kind of kick up the load to get the bar into position here. Or if you have a partner, they can pass you the bar. So for me, I've got my feet on the bench. I'm just a little bit too short to get my foot fully connected to the ground here with it feeling comfortable. You could also do this on the floor though as well. It doesn't have to be on a bench. But like I said, I'm going to have my feet up here. So you're going to keep tension in your wrist so your wrist stays straight. If you don't, that will happen there where I'm breaking through my wrist. So I want to keep that wrist tension on the whole time. And I'm going to start just slightly behind my head so I've got or basically not quite behind my head, but right in line with my eyes. And nice and controlled, I'm going to lower that bar down towards my skull. That's why it's called a skull crusher. Press that bar straight up. So I've got tension. Notice that I'm not perpendicular completely. I'm a little bit behind. That's keeping tension through my triceps the entire time through the motion. My elbows stay in a little bit. Press out. You can breathe in here. And then breathe out as I press up. When I'm done, bring it back to midline, control the bar down, and then you can roll back up nice and controlled.